All right, should be a uh... wow. That's a nice voice crack. And damn, that PS4 is running on fumes. All right, should be good to go. Okay, solid. All right, so I'm gonna do this uh, GTA 5 story mode live stream, some stock market investing. Um, whether people hop into the stream or not, essentially I just wanna do this um, it is 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have some more time tonight. I just want to do this so that it is something that people can watch back later on um, and just see some live footage of me investing and hopefully that will help them out. So uh, maybe people will hop into this live. Maybe they won't. Who knows? But either way, I just want to have some live footage of this. So um, I have made quite a few videos. Quite a few of the videos were the exact same on... Um, on my channel and I'm going to be doing the exact same method. I'm just going to be showing uh, showing everybody how to make some money on GT5 story mode and then if anybody has questions they can always hop in. So, Alright, so I'm going to start on LCN, go to markets, I already have a save file so I'm good to go. Augury, that's not good. Pro Labs, not liking it. Burger shot. Burger shot has a chance. I don't like any of those. Gastro band. I don't like either. Okay. I like anno. I like a. Uh, mm, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I really don't think there's any. Uh, there's any stocks. That could be good. You know what? Let's go for... You know what? Let's go for it. Even even if we don't make it, we screw up. That's fine with me. We're going to go for Animal Arc. Hopefully that works. Hopefully 
And if you guys are watching this, you know, post live stream, make sure you go for put all your money into the stock. One, two, go for the stocks that have de been declining for um, five days. This one's a little bit iffy. I really don't usually if I'm, you know, in the past when I was working my way up to 1.3 billion, what I would do is if I didn't like the market, I would just sleep a few times and that essentially refreshes the market. And then I would go in and uh, and invest because sometimes the markets are just not not optimized for you. So um, I suggest just hopping out of them. But let's just see what we get here. Uh, we may be at a loss. Hopefully we're at a gain. We're at a gain of one percent. I'm going to refresh it a couple times. OK, so I'll take I'll take one percent. That's not bad. In my most recent video, we had. um the gains were like five, six percent, which is you, which is fairly odd. So I'm gonna save over this last save file, and then we'll go from there. What's going on, Kevin? Good to see you, man. So we saved that. Let's go into a new stock. So that's quickly one percent on one of them. Let's find last average. So Richard's Majestic is a new one. That's actually looking pretty promising. Don't like Prolabs. Life Invader, don't like either. Gastro, don't like. Cluck and Bell. Burger Shot's on the way back up. So I had a feeling Burger Shot would go back up, but I wasn't going to chance it. Let's go for Richard's Majestic for this one. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually continue to go down. Maybe for a couple hours, but that's cool. Um, how you invest, please show me. I want to have trillions of money. <laughs> okay, so just watch this video for now. Um, essentially, what I'm doing is that you saw that graph. I, I look at the graphs of each of the stocks and usually I like to see a graph that has had a decline for five days. Now, it doesn't have to be like a straight down line, um, but just up and down a little bit. But for the most part, all the way down to the very end, all I do is I buy, put all my money into that stock. I make sure that I have a save file created already that has all my money on it. So if anything goes wrong, I just load that back up. Um, and then all I'm going to do here is sleep. So that's my last save file that has my 1.3, whatever billion dollars. That's the safe one that we could always load up if we need to. I'm going to go here, sleep. Usually it takes one or two times of sleeping and the stock market changes. So let's go in here. Like I said, I'm actually going to expect a negative, but we could have a positive and we do 1.82%. That's 24 million on that trade. Now doing it this way is going to take a while, but um, I don't mind. I don't mind taking that time because, you know, hey, it's an extra twenty-five million. I'm going to pocket that compared to the one point three billion we already have. It's really not much, but um, now I just go save and I overwrite that last save. So now I have the one point three seven million dollars secure. We just made a quick twenty-four mil, and then we're going to move on from that. Um, do I have Insta? I don't have a Instagram related to my YouTube. So no, no. What's going on, LeBron? How did you get that, LeBron James? Or maybe I guess you could just um, change your name after. But I thought that would be taken already. So Richard's Majestic, it's on its way back up. We won't buy back into that. We don't like Life Invader. We don't like Pro Labs. Burger Shot has, you know what? I might even go with Burger Shot to be honest. You know what? No, I'm going to go Cluck and Bell. I'm going to go Cluck and Bell. Now, this one's going to be more dangerous. I'm not expecting it to rise. Like I said, I put on a, um, or I created a save file, so we're safe anyways with the 1.37, but um, who really knows? Uh, my email is just that. Oh, okay. This is G. Oh, uh, PS4. PS4. Love your vid. Thank you, LeBron. I appreciate it, man. So yeah, so once again, we saw that graph had a negative. We we're going to go for the full investment into this thing. We'll back out, go for the quick save file. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to, I did, said this at the uh, beginning, I'll probably do about 30 minutes of this. I really just want a full live video. So that's the last save file that we have. I want a full live video um, just sort of showing this so that people can, you know, try it out for themselves and see how it works. Of course... The more money you have, the more you're going to make. We've only had 1% to 2% profit so far. 
Um, and if you don't have lots of money, that's not going to be a lot for you. So there you go. Here we have a negative. So that's a perfect example. First negative return. So if we go into Cluck and Bell, you'll see here, my usual rule is you, it has to start the decline from up here or it can't have like a major spike. You can see here it had a relatively big spike. It is going down. So that's fine. If we sleep one or two more times, it should go back up. If it doesn't, then all I'm going to do is load up the other save file and then move on. No point wasting your time sleeping for like a week in game because, uh, that, yeah, it's just pointless overall. And we still have that that save file. We have it at, I think it's the time is 1706 or 706. We're going to make sure not to touch that one because that is our safe save file. So let's go into here, go into portfolio. Is it going to be down some more? It is going to be down some more. That's fine. We'll save. Um, we'll sleep one more time and this is a perfect example. It's not always going to work, but for me, the majority of the times it's worked, I've, you know, with Franklin, I have moved, um, 400, 300, 300 or 400 million into 1.3. So it's worked for the most part. Uh, you made over 500 mil due to my vids, but I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, can you make a trillion? Does it take long? So I'm assuming it would take very long. I don't think you can make a trillion. I'm pretty sure there's a cap on your money in this game, but um, it's definitely possible. So I shouldn't be playing with it too much. We're back up. Made a little bit of a profit. 10 million, not much. Uh, really, you know, the only thing that's making this worth our time is the fact that we have so much money already. So, um, but yeah, that was li little trade, little trade. Let's go back in. Let's pick a new stock. I hope everybody's doing well, by the way, staying safe. Thank you to everybody who's liked the live stream. I really do appreciate that. It means a lot. Uh, let's go over to markets, go to average change, negative. You can't make a trillion uses a 32 bit integers. So the max you can make is 2.1. Okay. Thank you for the info, LeBron. I had a feeling it was 2.1. I didn't know for sure, but thank you for that. Uh, burger. Okay. Let's go for burger shot. This, this has a chance for sure of going down, but I think it's going to rise just a little bit relatively quickly. Cl uh, Clinton, what's going on? Thank you for hopping into this live stream. So once again, we're going to invest our one, full 1.38. In the video that I recently released, we were getting like 6% returns, which is very unusual. As you guys have seen so far, we've only had, you know, 0.5 to 2% returns. So it's usually not a lot, uh, but I just got lucky in that video. So let's see. If we could get lucky here, the one thing I'm noticing though is that the stock market is not too hot right now. Um, and what I mean by that is that the stocks that I'm seeing aren't on sharp declines, so therefore there won't be as sharp increases. Um, so we can't really be expecting too much profit, but um, we should be getting returns. Wait. Okay, I just want to make sure my audio is okay. Um, yeah, so our, our returns will be more minimal today. Let's see what we got here. 0.9%. I'm going to be greedy and I'm going to go to sleep again. Now, this is dangerous. Usually, just take t take the percentage, but this is 0.1%. Or, sorry, yeah, 0.1%. So it's really not worth our time. Po uh, 1709 is our safe save. So we're just going to overwrite this one and keep moving. Thank you to everybody who's liked the stream. I do appreciate it. Uh, means a lot so let's see if that greedy greediness actually helped us or has us worse off 3.63 percent so we actually hit the jackpot on that one that is nice that is a solid 50 million that's the kind of trade we're looking for we're up to 1.4 billion let's work towards 1.5 at least i'm gonna do 30 minutes worth but let's work towards 1.5 at least so we go over here quick save you guys already know the deal we are going to quick save this and create a safety net for us so that when we go back into our investments, we're safe if we do manage to screw up somehow. So we're going to go over to the markets, go over to average change. Richard's Majestic's been on like a steady decline. I'm just not liking the way that's looking. Life Invader is just hovering. We're not going to touch that. Gastro Band is going to look nice. Uh, that's that's going to be something I'm interested in um, in the next couple days, in-game days. Uh, burger shot. See, so what happened here is burger shot, right? We were here. We invested, made a little bit of a return. We would have uh, made probably, not probably, we would have made much more if we waited a little bit. So 
is what it is. I wasn't uh, willing to take that risk. That's a little... Bob Mullet is a little too volatile. Animal Park. See, this is like a dangerous thing. There's so many ups and downs. I'm not, I'm not going to touch that. Um, so like I was saying, like there's going to be some times where these stocks, just none of them are looking good. And so what you're going to notice as well when you're here. Uh, Legend has it. If you like this vid, you will get his look. <laughs> That's funny, LeBron. Um, so what you're going to notice here is, see how all these stocks... Sorry, I should be going over here. See how the, all the average changes are relatively low? We don't have any that are in the negative 40, negative 30, negative 20, right? Those are the ones that are dipping hard. So what I'm saying right now is this market's not good. Now, it's going to take us a little bit of time, but what I'm going to do is we still have our money perfect. I'm going to sleep a few times to speed up time and game to change the market up a bit and then hopefully get one that's more favorable favorable for us to invest in. So we'll just overwrite the previous uh, save that we had. We'll do, let's say we'll do three saves. That should be enough to change, change up the market a bit. Um, and then we could hop back in and start investing. And then hopefully the market starts to get a little more, uh, a little more hot for us after that. So we can make more uh, and faster investments. We just got to remember the time on our save. We're currently at 714. We'll probably be 715 by the time we're, we're done this third one. But yeah, I hope everybody's well. I'm really happy to hear some of you have have made millions off this game. It's crazy to think this game came out in God, how long has it been? 2020? Well, like six or seven years, if not older than that. This game is so old. Um, it's crazy to think that that you know things are still popping off on this game. But okay, let's go over to average change. We're gonna go to Life Invader. Still, like, if you guys look at the market, not really not much is happening here. We got Rich's Majestic. I'm not liking that. Not liking that. I don't want to keep refreshing the market, though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go for Life Invader. And if it goes down a bit, we're going to ride it out. I'm just going to place my bets now that it actually has a decent spike. I'm going to say 4 plus percent. Uh, this is completely random. If you guys don't already know, the numbers in this game, the way the stocks move, it's completely um, arbitrary. So there is, or at least from what I know, um, I know there is general trends of increases, decreases every day or two or every 10, 12 hours, whatever it may be. Um, but besides that, there's no real metric that I haven't put the time into it, but there's no real metrics to determine exactly how much this stuff's going to go up and down. So just a heads up. What's going on, Martin? Good to see you. How's FIFA going, man? So we go over here to the save file that we have already set up. Sorry, I just had to do something quickly. Internet, money and services. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, that's a, that's a bad. <laughs> so one thing I have noticed over my time with investing, Life Invader out of all the stocks. Sorry, I'm a little tired. I don't know if it was programmed this way, but Life Invader, oh, what was our save file? 714. Um, Life Invader has the most swings the most volatile swings. Um, thank you to whoever just liked the video or the stream. I really do appreciate it. Has the most volatile swings out of any of the stocks. So um, if it's going down, it's going to go down pretty hard. And if it's going up, it's going up pretty hard. So as you can see there, we're down negative 3.8%. Uh, that's tough. But like I said, things don't pan out. We go to our previous save file, load it up. We got all the money we need. And then we move on from there. Nothing to worry about. Salford City, what is going on? Thank you. I, d I really do appreciate the kind words. It means a lot. Um, let's go. Let's see if we have any kind of positive return. I highly doubt it. Okay, so it's going back up. So let's do this. 
Usually, usually my cap is five sleeps, so we'll sleep two more times. If it's not up, then we'll just load in the old game and move on from there. Um, but we will know that when we load in that game, we should not invest in the Life Invader stock. It's going pretty good, actually. I got a decent squad going at the moment. I've just been tr playing rivals since Foot Champ choose three rivals matches. Yeah, yeah, I suggest. I, I, I don't know how you feel, but I really don't like the way they... Okay, so now we're up a positive 0.0. .0 three percent let's sleep one more time if we could get a little bit higher of a percentage than that that's cool if we dip back down oh well things happen we'll reload it um but yeah man foot champs is this weekend foot champs was sweaty man holy smokes every single team is sweat central um i get it it's competitive it's cool with me but like this early on it's uh it's something new for me so do we get a higher percentage we get 5.16 so Guys, this is a perfect example. Whether you're watching this in the stream live or whether you're watching this after the stream, Life Invader has big swings. We saw it was on a down. It went down to, let me confirm the sale quickly before anything happens. So we just made, what was it, another like 50 million or something? I, I don't, I wasn't looking, my apologies. Um, Life Invader is a very volatile stock. And what that means is that when it increases, it increases by large amounts. When it decreases, it decreases by large amounts. Now, when I invest in Life Invader and I think it's going to go up, usually I expect it to have a high swing upwards. You just saw we invested in it. It swung down to 3.8% or by 3.8%. And then right after that, it swung back up. So it's going to be all over the place. Um, we just created that save file, right? 719. Okay, perfect. And we have this the 1.5 perfect so um you guys just saw right there that crazy swing it happens watch out for that on life invader it is a uh, a more dangerous stock so gold postal is looking really nice right now let's see if there's one that's looking even better though um no richard's majestic would be interesting bullhead no so this is one we invested in i think before and it's gone up quite a bit but like I said, with these kinds of stocks, you don't want to be holding too long. This is a risky one, okay? So if we go over to this stock, right? It didn't start declining until Monday. So I'm breaking my rule right now. But what I'm expecting to happen is to it to go up a little bit and then keep going down. It's going to have its first little fluctuation here. If it doesn't work out, that's fine. We load up our save file. We go back into it and we move on. But I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here. Thank you, everybody who's liked the live stream so far. I really do appreciate it. If you're in here and haven't liked the live stream, please drop a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. It would be amazing. Uh, tap triangle to exit your phone. Yes, I keep forgetting to do that. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, yeah, it gets to the point where it isn't even fun anymore. I'll say choose three. Yeah, yeah, I don't foot champs in general. It's just frustrating, although the rewards are just too, uh, too good. Did you like FIFA 21 so far? Yeah, yeah. FIFA 21 is nice. The, um, the gameplay I feel like has changed a little bit. Uh, I don't know if they've done that intentionally or if that's actually a thing. Um, I just realized I keep moving in my chair, so I'm sorry if my voice keeps cutting in and out. Um, yeah, how do you guys like it? It's not bad so far. I'm enjoying it. Trading has become really easy. I have quite a few trades right now. You guys will see on Thursday that I'm expecting to, I'm expecting to flip two to three hundred k. So I'm sorry if you're watching this in the post live stream and you're like, why are they talking about FIFA? So right here, bad prediction down three point four percent. I'm gonna give it four more saves. If it doesn't go back up, then we move on, uh, reload, and go into another stock. I do not play Rocket League. I do not. I know lots of people do. I think I've played it maybe once or twice in my life. Um, I didn't know it was still around or still a popular thing. But yeah. Go LCN. My portfolio. It's going to be down even more, isn't it? Yeah. Negative 5.19. So let's give it a couple saves. Usually if it's hitting negative 5%, I just reload. But um, we have the time here. I'm just going to... Just gonna go into it and uh, and see if we could we could flip a profit. Uh, when will you play pro, pro clubs again? I'm not sure. I'm not sure to be honest. I will have more time once school ends in about a month, so maybe maybe then. Wow, negative eight percent. All right, this is once again perfect little example. We could go here. We go over to load game. 
and we're gonna load up our save file because at this point it's not it's not worth uh negative what was it like negative eight percent it's not worth saving for team bad company i'm not sure i completely understand that i apologize um yeah so in these kinds of situations that just suggests that you reload um or else you could be seriously wasting your time how many of you guys play gta 5 still I haven't played this game. I only ever go on it to create content. I haven't played this game in in forever. Um, thank you, Salford City. I appreciate it. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. You do? What, what Do you play offline or online? I haven't seen any of the new updates that they have online. The last time I played... Wow, the last time I played online was... Um, that I remember probably May... Probably made both. Which one do you prefer? That's a real question. Thank you to everybody who's liked the stream. I do appreciate it. I know it's a late one, so anybody who's in the UK or whatever, I do appreciate you staying up. Although I feel like most people here are from the US or Canada or the Eastern time zone online. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's more to do online. The, the one thing I didn't like about GTA 5 story mode is that they made so many updates for online and never. Like, think about how long this game's been out for. People figured out how to take... Yeah, it does take forever to load. Um, people figured out how to make 2.1 billion years ago in this game, right? So if you got people flooded with cash... So here, we're back here, we load up, we still have our 1.5. There's no worries here. We're going to go into the internet and move on. People who figured out how to... Um, how to make this money... Oh, Augury Insurance is looking nice. That is a fat... Okay, never mind. So see what I'm talking here? Crazy, crazy decline, but is on its come up. So I'm not going to touch that. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to this really quickly. Um, I'm from the UK. England, wow. So it's pretty late for you. Wait, uh, five? So yeah, it's relatively late. And sorry that you could hear my PS4. It's a rocket ship right now. Oh, LeBron, I'm in Canada too, man. Um, so we load up this, and guys notice how all these stocks are in the negative 14, 11, 20s. So we, we load back in, and the stock market's already changed. So that's something that's, that's not bad. We are going to invest in this company. I'm liking the way it looks already. So we'll invest all this. But like I was, sorry, I'm, to get back on track, um, I'll probably go longer than 30 minutes, actually, thinking about it now. Um, yeah, it's 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, it's pretty, it's getting early now. So people had figured out how to make 2.1 billion years ago in this offline. And the more you play in the game, the more you unlock from the online. So you get the uh, more of, or different cars um, and whatnot. And all that stuff happens, but they didn't, they didn't make any fundamental changes. Now, I don't know how hard it would be to make those fundamental changes in the offline mode, but they didn't make any kind of changes, any new properties, any bring out any new cars, um, kinds of stuff. There, there's so much that they could, in my opinion, do with the story mode. Now, like I said, wait, our save file was, yeah, 19. So like I said, the, I don't know how hard it is to change. I think they probably had the vision of what they wanted for the game and that was set and that's done. But this is not um, this is not like any other game where you're playing this thing and, you know, two years, there's a new one out and you move on. This is a... So we're back in the negatives again. Whatever. Uh, things happen. Um, this has been out for... Uh, they're getting close to a decade. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but they're getting close to a decade. At some point, you got to innovate. You got to change. You got to make things more interesting for your um, for the people playing the game. No, I'm not bashing them. I love the game. They did a great job with this game, but um, some changes would be good just for the offline. Online's amazing, in my opinion. So we're down 1.4%. So this may be another a losing stock. And this is a perfect, this live stream is a perfect example of you're not going to win all the time. You're not going to um, make those quick profits all the time. Uh, sometimes it takes uh, a little bit 
live in Canada, Ontario. Though, or Ontario, Canada. Yeah. You hate England because of the bad weather. I thought you said you're in Canada, LeBron. GTA 6 dropping? I have no clue. When GTA 6 drops, though, I'm hopping on. Need to do something. Now, they do keep the online relatively negative 3.66. Team, I think we're... Uh, we might have to reload. I hate this. So what you're seeing right here, and I'm going to explain it because I've, I've hit these walls before while investing in this game, is, like I said a little bit earlier, there's going to be times when the market, um, there's going to be times when the market is just going to be bad, right? So there's going to be no stocks. All the stocks that are currently going down or just on their normal trend of going down. Um, so when that happens, there's a few different things. You could just play the game, wait it out. You could sleep, speed up the t speed up the in-game time, and then get back into it. But there will be times when the market is just ready to snatch up all your money and you move on. Yeah, Toronto's in Canada. I'm, <laughs> I'm in Toronto. That's funny. Okay, negative 3.25. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. We'll do one more save. If we don't get anything, we'll just move on. Yeah, Toronto's a city. It's in Ontario. T dot. Thank you to everybody who's liked the stream. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's see what we got going on here. We got no luck. It's going back up. It's going back up. You know what? I just don't feel like loading all again. Let's save a couple times. I know this is taking time. I apologize, but I'm just going to move on. What's going on, Tony? Good to see you. Thank you to everybody who smashed the like button on the stream. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Yeah. And so Canada is the country. Ontario is the province. Toronto is the city. They're all within each other. Okay. So, oh. That's not good. So we got a slight positive return. I'm just going to sell it off now. What's that? 900 and no, 9.6 or 9.5 million. We'll take the the small small percentage. We'll quick save and then move on. Um not interested in waiting any longer than that. All right. Money and services. LCN go to markets wait did i create the, the save i think i yeah i think i did let's go over to the markets go over to average change life invaders down life invaders gonna go up i'm telling you right now even if it does go down for a bit i'm telling you right now life inv invader is going to have a spike I, you make bear yeah i'm making bear money and, and to put it in perspective right like to take it took some time, but I went from three, four hundred million to one point three billion, right? And and that's just about um, it's it's exponential. So now, you know, we we barely have a percentage change, and we make ten million. And with that ten million, you could buy a lot or majority of the things in the game. So it's like, you know, at this point, it is what it is, right? But um, yeah, starting to make more money for sure. Okay, so let's hope we can get a nice change. I want to uh, not heist, give you lots of money. Yeah. Um, oh, that's tough. That's fine. I'm going to keep rolling this out. I, I like the fact this is taking longer because I get to talk to you guys a little bit more. I've got a comment quite a few times about the car that I have in my videos. So um, the couple of cars that I had was the Osiris the T20, um, and something else. And there's a certain green paint job that people are, are trying to figure out how to get. So I'll, maybe I'll do that really quickly. Well, I'll just show you how I got those. So we're still in the negatives. I see the I see Life Invader going up. I don't see it going down. So um, then you did the lesser assassination. Then he did what he told me. And now I get around 1.8 billion. Yeah, that's perfect, man. That's the way to do it. It's, it's simple, right? It's real simple. I'm glad to hear that worked for you, LeBron. 
Thank you to everybody who's liked the stream. If you guys are in this stream and you could drop a like, that'd be very, very much appreciated. I know I'm very monotone today, very chilled out. Whoa, negative 5%. We'll do two more saves. If nothing changes, then we're going to move on, reload the game, and go from there. But yeah, I just wanted to do a stream tonight, whether people hopped in and uh, and hung out or not. I just wanted to do this so that there's a video out there of live live footage of investing. You know, makes it easier for people. So, okay, so we had a huge cut into we went from negative five percent to negative two percent. So that's good. Maybe one two more saves and we could see a nice return. Now in this game, it's one of those things where. If you're talking about real market, real fluctuations, they're not real fluctuations, but just fluctuations in general, right? Us having bought at that negative 5% where we were just one save ago and then getting into it now would have been way more beneficial. So negative 3.8%. I'm just going to ride this one out, to be honest. I'm, I'm sorry if this is boring for you guys or it's wasting your time, but I'm just going to ride it out. I want this to be all of this to be in the video. Have you played Among Us before? No. I've heard about it, though. I've heard about it. Do I play on PC? No, I play on PS4. PS4. Mobile and Chromebook. <laughs> Thank you, Bryce, for subscribing. I really do appreciate that. That means a lot, man. It means a lot. Wow. Negative 7.93. So, once again, at this point, there is no... That's a save file. Yeah, it should be. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit for this. Um, I apologize, guys. Made the wrong, made the wrong, uh, made the wrong decision. But what that does mean is that in the next, we're gonna check the markets again when we load back in with our with our safety net save file. Uh, we're gonna go in. We're gonna choose a new stock. But what we saw there is that Life Invader was still on the decline. So what we can do is that we we buy a new stock, trade it a little bit. That'll take up a couple saves. And then once we go into um, the set the stock after that, that may be the buy time for Life Invader if the market's still the same. Although if you guys don't already know, when you load up or reload up a game, the market completely shifts. Not 100% completely, but usually it shifts significantly. Thank you everybody who's liked the stream. If you guys are new and you could drop a like, that'd be very, very much appreciated. Um, who lit this like? Doesn't matter. 12 likes. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. What am I doing? I'm investing in the stock market in GT5 story mode. Trying to make some thank you to whoever just smashed that like button. What's the point of having so much money if you can't spend it? You can spend it. It's just there's not as much to spend it on. Um, leveling up as in online. I used to do for I haven't played online in I don't know how long, but I used to do lots of the business missions. I found they gave quite a bit of XP. There's ways to, there's different missions you could grind just to get it. But um, yeah, usually business missions, like if it was, uh, you know, helping out your friends, if it was dropping off the cargo for the warehouse business, I think it was, if you were dropping off the um, the product for the nightclub business, you get lots of XP. And if you just help other people out, you get the same stuff. Do I play Madden? No, no, I haven't played it in a while. No matter what, yeah, is what it is. Doing the next vid because I'm going. It's nearly 2 a.m. Yeah, thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Next vid will be this Thursday. It's going to be a FIFA vid, though. So, weekend league rewards and division rivals. So, we should have a full 1.5. That's perfect. Let's go over to the average change. Um, sorry, and how much money we have? I have 1.5 billion right now. So, Augury Insurance is not looking nice. Pro Labs is definitely a shot. Burger Shot is definitely something we could look at. Um, I know you could probably hear my um, my PS4 in the background. I apologize. I'm gonna go with Burger Shot. This one's a little riskier, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Burger Shot. I I believe in it. I think so far we've had like what two losing stock? No, we haven't had two in a row. We've had two losing stocks total, but only one. Uh, there's space in between. Crates? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crates. Crates. I haven't played online in forever. My apologies. I hope I get... Le Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Or, I don't know if you're a uh, man or woman, but thank you. I appreciate that. And if you have, if you have rewards, I hope you get 
good rewards and are just as lucky as well. So I have completely forgot. I don't remember what save file was the right one. I think it was the late, it was the old one. Favorite player. All right, who is this? Okay. Let's go, so that should be our save file. This should be the new one. So let's go here. Messy. Good night, good night. You like Pele? Money glitch didn't work for me. Well, uh, which part of the money glitch? It's not really a glitch, it's just a method. If you're talking about, okay, so we're up 3%. Usually I'd actually go back for more, double down, but um, I'm just gonna take that one. Now, what we're looking at is the one we had. So we just did burger shot. So look at this. So this is the stock we just had. Notice here, we probably bought here at some point, one up. Here, went down, went up. You just gotta look for the trends. Overall negative trends, meaning overall, for the most part, the graph is slowly going down, going down, going down. At some point, it's gonna go up, and it may take a few saves, but at some point, it's gonna have that, that shot back up. Especially with these kinds of stocks where you see the changes aren't too big. They're relatively big, but they're not the you know biggest changes ever. So, um, you know, that's always, that's always something. Let's go, let's save here create the safety net and then we can move on why i bought all the businesses i think for for franklin so he keeps so he keeps on getting his hotline is blinging right now it's really frustrating um would this help for the real stock market no no um and the reason why is because the real stock market the the numbers are not arbitrary and what arbitrary means is that they're, it's not like it's made up, but it's almost like randomized, if that makes sense. So whether the stocks go up or down in this game is almost a little randomized. I'm going to buy Life Invader. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to take the risk, risk for the biscuit. Um, so in this game, the ups and downs are a little bit more from what I've seen, especially on uh, Liberty City National, this exchange, um, this index, the, it just fluctuates. However, in real life, there's reasons for the fluctuations in the stock price of businesses. So recently, the other, what was it, this last, so last week, the Q3 earnings were recorded. And if you guys, I don't know how extensive everybody's market knowledge is and stuff like that, but Q3, quarter three is just the third section of the year. They split up the year into four sections, four quarters each being three months. Uh, that was our last save file, so we gotta go here. Each being three months um, of the year, that's how they record things for business. And um, if things are not looking too hot for businesses, once the quarter ends and uh, and once these businesses release statements on how the business is doing and what they're looking like in the future, if things are looking promising, Usually the stock jumps. If things are not looking good, usually the stock drops. And um, there's tons of different ways to analyze this stuff, tons of different trends you can look at. But um, essentially, the the way to invest with real-life stocks has to be much more educated. You have to inform yourself on the business you're investing in, all that stuff, um, or else it's going to... You know, guesswork is not, not the way it's going to be. I hope that makes sense. So thank you to everybody who's tuned in so far and who's dropped a like on the stream. I do appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. But I, I should correct myself, though. Um, the, the concept of buy low, sell high is 100% the exact same, right? Like, that's pretty... Could we get a change here? Okay, I just went back down to negative. See, Life Invader is so so volatile. You never know what's going to happen. Um, so the whole concept of the buy low, sell high is the exact same. Obviously, though, if you know if this game had... They don't have shorts, so you can't short any stocks, which is something that's 
other things you could do in in real life you could have options and futures and all so the things you can do in real life are much more there's a lot more you can do it's on a bigger scale um but the simple concept of buy low sell high is the exact same so technically yeah yeah it helped for real stock but don't don't invest the same way that was a long drawn out answer i apologize but is what it is so let's see if we could get you know let's go for one more positive return on a stock so we're working our way back up we're at 2.8 percent in the negative we're going to work our way back up and then finish off there it has been a rel much longer stream than i had originally planned i do appreciate everybody who's been here from the very beginning you stuck it out um and just hung out the entire time and chatted it's gone by pretty quickly we go over here portfolio we should be going on the up and up yep so i'd say one to two more saves and we should be gucci take that nice profit and go home or we're just going to go back in the negative direction like we did the last time with life invader that's a hundred percent hundred percent reasonable so we got 10 people in the stream right now uh, I remember when the game came out and I invested in random stocks and lost my money. Yeah, that's the thing. Like the, it took a little bit for people to properly get accustomed to. Okay, so we went we went down a little bit. The stock so for Life Invader is the most frustrating stock to trade with. It, it's the the least un uh, so the most unpredictable rather. Um, would you need a lot of money to invest in this game? Yes, in real life. It depends. It depends on your investment strategies in real life. Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll do one more save. If nothing happens, then we'll just reload the game. I apologize. This this investment has been quite drawn out. Um, and like I said, the market's pretty bad right now. Usually, like when I was working my way from 300, 400 million to the 1.3 billion, all of the markets that I was investing in for the most part were you know hot markets ready to trade with so um usually they weren't horrible investments so we get a nice little return here doesn't mean anything let's go over here let's create the last save file that we need quick save we'll overwrite that one now i'm trying to remember which character has the green cars um unfortunately we don't have trevor Trevor's uh, invest in Meriwether. I've seen something. So what you may see online is you may see some glitches, right? And those glitches are... Um, what's the right way to put it? There are some outdated glitches. And, and, and how they came about was... Why are we so far away from Michael? How they came about was that when the game was early on, when, when the version of the game was relatively early, no patches, no nothing, there were some things that you could do, some stocks you could invest in, and they would make a quick return very easily. Um, but once you update that game and you move on from that, at that point, then you're, they had essentially patched those glitches and it was going to be hard to do anything else besides that. So um, that's just something that to always watch out for. Okay, last thing I want to do, let's head over to his garage. If I remember correctly, his garage should be this way, no? Where is his garage? Okay, so we got to go all the way down and then, okay. Man, I haven't played this game in forever. This is weird. So we got to go here and then a little further down. So we got to go one more street over. Over here is fine. And then we could probably cut in because we have to go this way. Oh, I remember. There you go. Let's hop out of this car. Got to go to bed. See, see you later, Bryce. Thank you for hopping in the stream. I do appreciate it. This could be the last thing I do before I hop off. 
I just want to see if I could find these cars. I want to see if I could find the uh, paint jobs and everything. Okay, so I don't have the cars here. I don't remember where I had to get the cars before. Okay, so, okay. Let's do this. We're going to order one of the cars, and then I'm going to get that paint job on, on the cars. Um, it's eight for me. Yeah, it's eight for me as well. Okay, so we, if we go over here, so some people have been wondering how do you get all these cars on the actual game. If you go over to, uh, so first you got to play further into the story mode. So if you're right at the very beginning of the story mode, all these new cars that came out won't be available to you. But as you get later on, you'll see that all these cars here, for example, are available to us. So we're going to pick up the Progen T20. We'll buy this one, and we have 300, and is it 370 million for, yeah, so Michael doesn't have as much. I think Franklin's the only one I've really invested heavily on. Um, why should you buy the golf course? You don't have to buy the golf course. Um, I think I bought it. Where is the golf course anyways? Yeah, yeah, I, I purchased it. At least I'm pretty sure I did. Um... So the golf course is, from what I remember, 150 million. Now, what it does is that it gives you a uh, weekly income, if I'm not mistaken, of 150k or 300 thousand dollars. So what it is is that if you're somebody who plays the game consistently, um, I don't suggest getting the golf course because if your your reason for saying, "Hey, I'm going to get the golf course," is I get 300k every week. Well, if you have 150 million to start off with, why do you care about 300k every in-game week? You know what I mean? So, the perks of buying a golf course is one, you own it; it's a big flex. Um, and then the other perk is, I think you get to play there for free or something like that. So there's just different things, you know. But um, yeah, so let's go over here. So I think I think the the paint job that everybody loved was the green paint job. Now, I figured this out years ago when I first started playing online. Um, let's go over here. See what we got going on. See what we got going on. Let's see if I can remember what the paint job is. So if we go over to respray, primary, metallic, I think it has to be... Okay, let me let me see if I can remember this. I think it has to be okay. I I remember what what color it is. I just don't remember where it is here. Is it? Where is it? Ah, here it is. So you have to go for the midnight blue. Let's get the secondary color at the same thing. Um, no, blue should be after this, right? Why wow, I played this game way too much before. Um. And then the pearlescence you have to go for is lime green, if I remember correctly. Whoa, where is it? Why is the lime green not here? It should be here. Yellow, sea green, lime green. There you go. So, this is, I'm pretty sure this is the paint job people were asking about. What's going on, Mustafa? I'm pretty sure this is the, the paint job everybody was asking about. How did you get that, like, uh, like lizard green, like that dark, dark green? Um, and this is how I got it before. Now, the other color I'm pretty sure that I had on these cars was actually a brighter green. And that brighter green was, I believe it was a lime green with a white, white pearlescence. Let's go over here. Metallic should be lime green, which should be here. No. Okay, so they just kept all the colors together. So it should be lime green, yeah, like that. With the pearlescent of... Or, or was it the yellow? No, that's what it was. I think people like the lime green with the yellow. Now, if you go with the white... Fresh, thank you. If you go with the white, where is that? Ice white. So this ice white just makes it bright. But what the yellow does is that this yellow 
it's cool, but it, it, uh, what's the, it gives it like a candy, candy look, if that makes sense. So this is the other color I think people were talking about. So this like shiny green candy, you know, pearlescent look on this green car. So all it is is lime green. So if you like the other one, the more midnight, uh, dark, deep green, that's the midnight blue with the lime green pearlescent. And then the shiny candy look was the lime green with the race yellow. Normal yellow makes it look nice, but race yellow is brighter, more vibrant. And so it looks cooler in the, in the sunlight. So um, that's just a little tip if, if that's what you guys are looking for. I was gonna make a whole video on it, but that's pretty pointless in my opinion. So is what it is. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Definitely this one, yeah. I personally like the uh, the lime green with the yellow pearlescent. Um, I just thought it was always nicer. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you guys are watching this in the post com, I hope you gained something from what you saw today and uh, and learned a little bit about the whole investing guide. I want to give a proper live look at what I've done to acquire the money that I have in the game. <laughs> See you, goat. Uh, nah, man, you're the goat. You're uh, you're LB, bro. Or L? Did I say LB, LJ. You're uh, you're the big man. Um, yeah, I hope this helped you guys out, and uh, I hope it's a video that you could reference and and sort of play along and invest along with, on your own to sort of figure out what to do, what's right, what's wrong. Understanding that there's gonna be good markets and bad markets. Um, noticing that if it's a bad market, maybe you just sleep, speed up the game to get into a good market. Um. Make sure you always have a backup save file because you saw a couple times tonight we picked bad stocks and because of that, we ended up going into our old save files, came back and we had all our money and everything was perfectly cool. And then of course, choosing the right stocks, five days of de uh, decrease or just steady decrease, pick it up, sleep a couple times, turn that profit and then head out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you to everybody who hopped in the stream. Um, people from the UK, people from Canada, everybody, I hope you enjoyed it and I appreciate your your input and just chilling and hanging out. I'll see you all in the next one. See you on Thursday. FIFA 21 Rewards.